Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you how to make a lavender tea from scratch from fresh lavender. You can do it with dried lavender as well, but I just picked some fresh lavender from my garden outside just before. And I'm going to use fresh lavender today to make some lavender tea. I'm combining it with mint tea because I said lavender tea on its own can be just a little bit strong and the taste isn't as nice so you can combine it with honey as well but the mint is optional so you can use just lavender to make the lavender tea or you can combine it with mint like I am today to make lavender tea as well but it's completely optional so feel free to just omit that ingredient if you don't want to use it Ellie's come to join me today there she is she's going to do a walk on by whoop try not to shoot so lavender has a few properties called lin linalu and linalyl and acetate. I'll put those down the bottom because I pronounced that completely wrong. Um, they're components in lavender. They're actually wonderful for many different things, such as it soothes the nerves. So lavender is very well known for her, its ability to soothe nerves and calm us down. So it's great for relieving anxiety. So that's one of the best benefits I've found with lavender. I use it a lot for helping with anxiety. So I use it in more aromatherapy ways so i put some drops of lavender oil in my bath or i put some on my pillow at night to help me sleep and calm me down because the scent of it is instantly relaxing if you've ever smelled lavender once you smell it, it's quite calming it helps to improve sleep and detoxify the body so it can be used to help with detoxing which i am using it today in the tea to help with detoxing it also works as an ex expectorant i think that's how you say it which just basically means it helps to loosen mucus so you can cough it up easier so if you have something like um, that's in like, I guess, like mucus caught in your sinuses or in, in your lungs. It just helps you to cough it up a little bit easier. Helps to kill bacteria because it's a natural antibacterial. So I use it a lot in my bug sprays and in a lot of my d other DIYs when I'm making antibacterial pro products such as soaps and things. It also helps to relieve pain and speed up wound healing. And I do share a few wound healing DIYs and things and creams and things you can make with lavender oil which I'll share in the description below it's in a little blog post and I share many different ways you can use lavender oil and lavender for many different DIYs and things it has anti-inflammatory properties um, so it's great for if you are uh, your body is quite inflamed you can use it in ways to help reduce inflammation it's also great for skincare so there's a few DIYs that I share in the blog post that talk about how you can use lavender for skin. It helps to reduce inflammation and things like burns. And lavender actually helps to promote hair growth. So you can use lavender oil to help improve and encourage hair growth if you find you're suffering with hair loss. So that's another way you can use it. And I do share how you can use lavender for that in the description below in my blog post. I actually have been using lavender as a remedy for an ear infection, like a fungal and bacterial ear infection that I had. A while back and I've been using lavender oil for that and that has helped clear it right up so wonderful for things like ear infections yeah without further ado let's get straight into making today's lavender tea recipe so these are the mint leaves and the lavender buds that I've collected from my garden just now I've just got a little bowl of them now you don't again don't have to use mint I just want to use mint today and you can add honey as well into the tea if you want it to be a bit more sweeter but otherwise lavender just in its tea form is really nice so FYI I just pulled the biggest like the biggest caterpillar off my mint leaves before like usually I don't find any bugs on there because they don't like the smell of like mint in the garden it's a great way to deter many bugs but I honestly pulled off the biggest brown caterpillar and it was oh I had pulled it off with one of the leaves and it just like threw it over the fence oh it actually freaked me out a little bit because it was like it looked really different to like a normal caterpillar it like had suckers on its like mouth area and it was like bending up towards where my hand was and I was like oh my gosh and I just flew it through the fence but usually I don't find caterpillars in my garden they're being pretty good at keeping away especially with the mint there but sometimes you find the odd caterpillar that is on the mint and eating my mint leaves but yeah that's pretty much the end of story time today anyway so I've just collected some fresh lavender and fresh mint from my garden but you can also use dried lavender or dried mint to make the tea today so it's up to you let's get started so to make the lavender tea grab your herbs that you're using so if you're using both lavender and mint you can use fresh or dried herbs or if you're just using lavender that's fine too then place the four cups of filtered water into a saucepan and bring it to the boil then turn it off heat 
Next, add in the lavender buds and mint leaves if you're using them into the saucepan with the boiled water and let it steep until the tea has reached your desired flavor and strength. So around 15 to 20 minutes. Now make sure that you're letting it steep off heat. Don't allow it to keep boiling with the flowers and mint leaves in there, otherwise it can destroy some of the properties in those herbs. So just make sure to take it off heat and then allow the flowers to steep in the hot water. Once it's finished steeping, strain out the mint leaves and lavender buds and stir in the honey or stevia if you're using. Just as much as you desire, I just used a small teaspoon. Then serve hot or if you prefer, you can let the strained tea cool and then serve over ice to make iced tea. And that is how you make lavender tea. I hope you guys liked it. Do let me know what you thought of today's video and if you make lavender tea yourself and if you have any things that you add to lavender tea or other teas that you make. Feel free to share that in the description below. I love hearing your suggestions. We all do. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for sticking out this whole video with me. Do please share with me if you make it. Tag me on Instagram if you do share a picture of it. Otherwise, I hope to see you guys in my future videos. And thank you so much for sticking out this whole video with me today. It means so much. And I hope to see you guys in my future videos. Bye.